Welcome tonight. We've got two more minutes and we're going to be preparing for games that we're going to play over the weekend. And the games are going to be based on numbers and we're going to be making some spinners. So I'll just um, finish my preparations and in, at, in one minute we're going to be this, this, this. Toilet roll, my essential toilet roll. So if you want to prepare things, we want some some I've got a some some old cardboard boxes. I've been keeping all my cardboard now. I'm not recycling any of it, I'm keeping it all for, for making mass toys. And um and I've printed out, oh that's what I can do. I can very quickly woo, get the link for the um link for aiming high. Because I've got the resource, but I don't have the link. I just remembered. Okay. Spinners. I wonder if it will come up under that if I search for that. Spin high, spin low. It might be under that one. I don't know if it's exactly this resource that will come out under spin high, spin low. Hmm. No, I don't have a, a link yet for the spinners there'll be one in the morning but i can share the one from spin high spin low i can share one page can i mm. oh here it is make your spinner oh yes okay i'll share this one so if i share that it's it's got more than just that on it and i'll share that on here and that way you can you go it's in the comments below you can print it out it's got the, some instructions for a game as well but it's it's got your two spinners on it and what we're going to do is it's eight o'clock welcome to the friday night live and what we're doing tonight is preparing for a weekend of games so we're going to play math games because um with we use the aiming high resources and we're preparing materials for the maths toys play, uh, youtube channel so please subscribe to that so you'll be notified when we put the new videos up but there's already a few there we're putting more up and the idea is that we find the maths in games and the games in maths so tonight it's all about spinning Whee! so i'm the games we play over the weekend, you'll either you can use a, a six-faced dice or a spinner with six faces. And here we've got a ten, a, a spinner with ten numbers, zero to nine. And so it, the easiest way to make these is to simply um, um because yeah, doesn't yeah that doesn't go there yeah because those are quite hard ones to do just by folding and things although there will be a session one day on making 2d shapes just using just basic materials where you don't need a pattern you'll just give an instructions now what else have we got so we're going to make the spinners we're going to make the spinners so we can make the toys so we can play the games now you might have a, a d10 if, you, if you're a gamer, but we're creating all of these resources so that people anywhere in the world can play them. The um, Aiming High website was created by an amazing woman who, um, and now that the whole team is an organization called AIMSEC, which is the African Institute for Mathematical Sciences School Enrichment Center, which Bubbly Maths has been supporting since 2009. We don't support financially, um, we don't have that sort of those sort of means, but we support in doing things like these lives, in um, sharing our ideas, and also I go out to South Africa and I have the privilege of helping with the courses that they run, and with doing shows for them, fundraiser shows, just anywhere I can help doing fundraisers because what they do is they provide high quality professional development courses for teachers in Africa that have to teach mathematics as just part of their job. And that really very few teachers in the whole world, never mind in, in disadvantaged communities, have had really 
the, 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 what we know about teaching maths has changed. What we, what we know about how to facilitate the learning of maths has really evolved a lot. And so it's a matter of getting, the, getting teachers that have already been trained a few years ago up to date with the resources. And in, in, there are parts of the world where it hasn't happened yet. So in Africa, AIMSEC is doing their bit. To, to help and what we're doing what I'm doing is creating all these lives to especially during this time this lockdown time where the, the activities can be done any day of the week and this is these are mo they can have these moments in the middle of a class just to to lighten things up you've got ch children at home doing learning at home you can add these activities in the middle of it so it's not this really heavy duty own, only heavy duty maths you can put the game in if you can find the game in everything you do that makes life so much more pleasant so cardboard I've got my bit of cardboard here so I'm going to cut out first of all I'll cut out a little section I'm going to cut both of these out so we've got and I'm going to put this down here so you can see and I can see what we're doing just going to make sure I can see what I'm doing see what you can see uh, so I can see what you can see so over here, boing, 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 boing. I'm a bit funny, I like to be highly efficient with my cuts, my straight cuts there. The straight cuts actually aren't that important, it's okay. They're not completely straight. In fact, as you can see, I'm not the, the world's best cutter anyways. I just like to... Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I have put the this resource into the comments so you can go ahead, go to that page and click on the link to the resource and print it out yourselves. Or the other option is, is to, there we go, there it is. Um, do your best at this point to draw a, decagon draw a hexagon and then you can make your own spin out if you haven't got a printer okay so now that paper that goes in the recycle and all we're going to do is we're going to glue these two shapes onto my cardboard and i had my glue here it is so glue the shapes onto the cardboard and then oh i didn't actually say but i didn't have it here somewhere Ah, here it is. We need a paper clip. You don't have to, oh, no, it was here. I must have dropped it on the floor. Here it is, a paper clip, normal paper clip. And if you don't have a paper clip, where is it? Here. If you don't have a paper clip, you can, um, you can use the, the uh, cable ties, anything that's a little bit rigid, you'll see the shape it needs to be in a moment. So now we're going to stick these onto here. I will now have two spinners, one that's like a dice. You can, if you've got a dice, great. If you don't, over here, at this end, I've got my spinner for one out of six numbers. And then over here, turn it around so that you can see it more easily. Over here, I have my spinner with one out of 10 numbers. That includes the number zero. The activity we did last weekend didn't include the number zero. We had to make 15 out of three numbers without repeating the number. And that was just one to nine. So let's see, I'm just going to put it up there. It's all good. There we go. Now, all we now need is to take our paper clip and we're going to straighten one of the edges, or two of them, sorry, two of the curves. One and do we need, oh, we only need one. That's it, one's fine. Now, it might, isn't the, the, the perfect straight line. What we're looking at is this bit here, wherever that lies. If it, if it, if it ends up right, right, right on the, on the line, you have to spin it again. And if it's, um, I think I might do it that way. I think there's less friction if I do it that way. And what we need to make it stay there is quite simply a pen or a pencil. 
make a hole and dead as dead center as you can make it. That's now gone through the hole and let me just get my hand out of the way so you can see. Boing. And lo and behold, we have a two. We have um, spun a two and then with the six way again, hole in the center. And here we go. Boing. Woo. We have, whoops, you couldn't see that. Let me do that again. Get my get everything out of the way. Here we go. One more time. Woo. We have spun a six. As simple as that. Bit of cardboard. And if you, if you can't print it out, it's not the end of the world. If it's not exact, just make a hexagon, make a decagon, and with all the lines in them, and and stick it onto a bit of cardboard. Any piece of wire that's going to be rigid, there's quite a lot of electrical wire that goes in the home that, that would, would be rigid as well, and a pencil or a pen, and you've got your spinner. So that's our spinner for the games we're going to be playing over the weekend. Now, in a it, instead of the spinner, you can also way, you can also just make cards. So we're going to make cards, I'm not actually going to make them because it's, it's not necessary, but what you can do is if you make the cards out of rigid cardboard and make them so that you can also make the cards, you can also make number cards and if you've got a laminator you can laminate them, but not that many people have a laminator. So what you simply do is, is nice and neatly we're going to, I'm going to use my nice fat ruler to make, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe I'll use my less fat ruler because I want to make a total of 10 numbers, zero to nine. So I'm just going to mark this. And that way I can make them all the same size. And if you do preserve these in a little box or in a little bag, then you can use these numbers again and again and again for a lot of different games that we're going to be playing. One, two, three, four. Oh, look, that's going to work out quite nicely. And then five, there you go, that's perfect. That's divided into five make the numbers nice and now ah, maybe I wonder ha 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 yay My, why make life difficult when you can make it easy Just use this one for the up uh, for the, the the height of the cards that's five and ten that's it draw the numbers nice and neatly on the cards and this is something that the young learners can do there's no reason why you have to do it all they can do it should do one more if you want some blank cards blank cards are always useful because you never know what ideas you might come up with so now we have for out of this one empty box we now we can just cut those out whoops a bit higher up cut those out nice and carefully and you've got yourself 10 blanks um 10 numbers and five blanks and you can have you can use one to six and then you simply just turn them upside down shuffle them around and then pick them blind or put them in a hat so that's how we can select our numbers and finally what we're going to do is let me just check that I haven't forgotten anything because I'm actually quite good at forgetting things. I shouldn't say that, should I? I have an excellent memory. I remember everything I need to remember. And, and this happens every time. If you've seen any of my <laughs> lives. Ah, yeah, so we'll just leave it. Oh, no, I know. It's on here. It's on the bit that I've, that I've cut out. Okay, so that, I think that's everything we need for this weekend. The cards and the spinner, you don't need the cards and the spinner, you can make the cards if you don't want to make the spinner or you can make them both and then you've got both. And depending on how the mood takes you, you can play um, using different resources. So that's that. And now the, the other thing I'm going to do is we're going to see about making, we've had this challenge all week, the to toilet roll. Now you can use your toilet roll to make your spinner. Just cut it along one, actually that's quite, I'm not going to do it right now, but if you cut, down one, why not? I'm just gonna ask the question. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. 
If you cut a straight line down, I'm going to draw the straight line. Here we go. Boing, boing, boing. Straight line. I'm actually going to flatten it. There's no reason I shouldn't because of what I'm going to do next. If I'm going to draw, draw a straight line down a uh, cylinder and I cut that off, what shape am I going to end up with? I'm not actually going to do it. I'm going to ask you to do it. I'm going to let you discover what shape you'd end up with if you don't. You could, and the thing is, as an older learner or an adult who's hopefully still a learner, you probably know. But if you're five, six, seven, even eight, you might not have ever realized what happens if you cut. Now make it a nice straight line to make sure we have a nice shape at the end of it. See what shape comes out. That's a nice one. Okay, so now what we're going to do is going to make our cube. We were talking about a cube. We've been talking about a cube all week. How to make a cube out of a toilet roll. Don't want to waste our toilet rolls. Let's use them to do geometry and whatever else. So a cube. Definition of a cube. It has flat faces. It has straight edges. And it, every face is a square. So the first thing we have to do is make sure all our edges are the same length. So first we're going to flatten that. Now the best way to make sure we have four edges at the same length is we simply split this whole length in four. So I've just split it in two and the way we can easily split it in two again is by making sure those two are lined up before we before we flatten the other two edges. There you go, they're lined up nicely. Now we can flatten them. Now we have One, two, three. Now oh, that's not too well flattened. There we go. One, two, three, four edges, all the same length. Now we have to make sure that the, so that gives us the edges at the top, the four edges at the top and the four edges at the bottom. Now we've got to make sure that the edges, that the height of the cube is the same as the all the edges again. So, oops, turn it around the other way. So we have four centimeters. So if we measure four centimeters, four centimeters here and here. Now what we've got to do is make sure that now, Ooh, look at that, that's, move it slightly over so we can see that this edge is parallel to the top of the toilet roll and draw a line. And the same down here. We can now, if we can, yeah, down there, we want to match that one up, keep that as parallel as we can to the, other end and now got to move uh yeah extend that over extend that over here extend that over here you could take a little bit more time about it and then let's see if I oh, I definitely need to make sure that we can see that bit so that we match them up nicely, hopefully, fingers crossed. It's not, I'm not, this isn't terribly accurate. There we go. And now we can cut the edges. Now, as you can see, I've done it closer to the, to one end than the other. Hopefully it'll be all right because to make the cube, we now just have to cut down along these edges and you can't see what I'm doing. And there we go. And then the same at this end. Uh, there we 
go. Now, fold these down exactly on those lines. One, two, three, and four. And then we have one, two, three, and whoopsie, in you go. You can do it in three and four. We now have a lovely cube. There you go. Now it has been pointed out to me that we've got a nice cube, but we wanted to point out something about the boxes that are used in packaging. Now, if you notice when you have a box that's packed, these two don't matter so much, but the last two absolutely, definitely want to be matching up just exactly right. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut, let's see if we can get them just right, one, and teeny bit off there, two. Now let's see what happens if we, no, that's overlapping. So we're going to just, so this is just an extension to the cube challenge. Okay, here we go. Do you see how we now have, no, not quite, not quite, not quite. Let's take that one, they should be going halfway across. If you if you've measured it better than I'm measuring it, it would do a better job. So now we have what looks like a normal packaging box. So then we can take some tape and tape it up. And that way we have, this way round we have the two overlapping in one direction and this way round we have them overlapping in this direction. And then when we tape it up as boxes are taped up, then we have a nice solid base for our box that, that will hold the items that go inside it. And you do the same at the top, but we don't have to, we've actually now got a very nice little cube. We've got a cube box, boing. And we can, we can put treasures in it. Hello. Wait a minute, here we go. Hello, how are you? My name is Gox. And let me see, and then I keep nice things in my box and I'm going to just leave it there because this crazy woman is kind of a little bit crazy having a talking box. Okay, <laughs> yeah, talking box. <laughs> it wasn't me, maybe it was. Okay, so that's our box. That's our toilet paper for the week. And we're going to do, we've used toilet paper for the activity we did earlier today. And we're gonna find, oh yes, and that's what I was saying, yeah. So if you now cut your, cut your cylinder, nice and nice line that's nice and perpendicular between the two um, two circles and see what shape it is. And you might even be able to use that for your spinner. I think that's it. So please um, do, I will, um, please do go to the YouTube channels. The links are in the announcement above and please do subscribe to them. That's the Bubbly Baths YouTube channel where all these lives are being archived. And, and, um, and then there's the Maths Toys YouTube channel, which is where all the, res excuse me, all the resources are aiming high. This doesn't say aiming high on it. All the resources on the aiming high website, which were originally made specifically for the teachers that go on the training, um, on the, the courses, on the professional development courses that AIMSEC provide. Um, now they're being extended for home learning. So there's a lot of resources on there now already. And I've been, for the last two weeks or more, I've been specifically doing those in the lives. And, um, so avail yourself of those. You can, you can just search on that website for ideas if you have a specific topic you need to deal with. And also, um, that's, that's, I think, enough for tonight.
We're going to play games tomorrow and a session at nine playing games. That's London time. Then I'm going to do the light the, the early years recording at 930 because I have a game that I play every two weeks at 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning and Sunday for that matter, but I can be late for the Sunday, but I can't be late for the Saturday one. So I shall re record the live at nine and then do a watch party at 10 so that you can still, that it'll still happen at 10. And that will be for the early years, playing games with numbers for early years. So thank you for that. See you tomorrow. And then eight o'clock tonight, we're not going to do a, a live for the parents. We're going to do, we're going to play games again, eight o'clock tomorrow night, same time tomorrow night. We're going to do a, a game playing as a, so we do three sets of game playing over the weekend. Enjoy, enjoy your spinners. If you didn't see that, by the way, if you came on any later, we've made two spinners, and the link to make to to print out the spinners is in the um, in the the comments below. <laughs> Thank you. Now let's see. Just have a look. See if anybody has made any comments while I've been. Oh, Samantha. Hi, Samantha. You're very welcome. My pleasure. I enjoy it. It's like it's almost the other way around. Thank you for, for joining and thank you for giving me the pleasure of doing this. And I'd be very much like to see if we've got any other geometry. If you've got that lovely icosahedron the other day, what can you make with a toilet roll? Be very old. Multiple toilet rolls. Hmm. Okay. I will see you all tomorrow. And now I've got to find the Zoom so I can stop the live. That's the only way I can do it. Thank you.